Hi guys and welcome back. In this lecture, what we're going to be doing is we're going to define the board shape of our PCB. Okay, so to get started right away, right click on our a tiny project, click add new to project and click on PCB. Now we can call this tiny Arduino PCB. Then click OK. And now if you look over here, our PCB document has been opened. So this black space over here, this is where we create our printed circuit board and where we import our components also to this. On your keyboard, if you press the number 3, you'll come to this view over here. And if you press shift and drag your right hand mouse, you can see the PCB. Now it doesn't look like much, but eventually when we get to our designing, you'll see it's, it'll start taking form. Press 0 to, to zone in orthogonally to our board. And then if you press 2, you can get back to the original PCB layout. Okay, so now if you want to bring your components in from the schematic view, what we can do is to head over to project, go down to import changes from tinyarduino.prjpcb. Now what this does is, is that it shows all the net listing and all the components that we have drawn in our schematic document. And if we click execute changes, it will import all these components into our PCB document. This may take a little while. So once your changes have been executed, you'll notice that all our components have appeared on the side of our board. So just click close and now we can move all our components onto our board. If you click 3, you'll be able to see all our components on our PCB. Just give it a little while for our components to generate. And there we have it. Now you can see we have very minimal components that we require for our tiny Arduino. So click on 2 again. Now before we define our board shape, we first need to define where our components are going to be placed. So let's just do the first iteration of board design. Okay, so to change the shape of our board, what we do is to go to board shape and edit board shape. So now in this view, we can edit the shape of our board. We can edit our dimensions and make it any shape that we desire. So let's make sure our snap grid is on 20. And I'm just going to drag this down and move it until it seems a bit small. Do the same for the other side. Okay, move it right around over there. And then we can do the same for this corner. And then the final corner. Just make sure it's all in line and according to grid. Now if you click on 3 on the keyboard, you can see that our board is much more smaller now. But it's going to get way more smaller after we place the components. Okay, so that is it for this lecture. In the next lecture, what we're going to do is we're going to place the components and then we're going to begin routing our tiny Arduino. See you in the next lecture. Thank you for watching.